This exploit will allow you to collect as many pieces of legendary armor as you would like. It will allow you to collect a whole bunch of legendary items and will allow you to collect a whole bunch of mines and other miscellaneous things if that interests you. First thing you're going to have to do is go to the bore system all the way in the upper right. You're going to go in and we are going to land over here on this planet here, this moon. And you're going to land on the deserted robotics lab. This is a static spawn. You're also going to want to be a member of the Crimson Fleet. My audio might cut out here, but it doesn't matter. So we're going to head over here. And you can pick up whatever you would like. You can go after that chest if you would like. Honestly, go make yourself a path through here and find what you would like to keep. Um, big thing is right over here if you want them. There are going to be mines. There's going to be all sorts of stuff here. Let's get down here. Here we can have a stun mine, track grenade, mines, you know, stuff like that. Here you can grab credits, antimicrobial. Here you can grab some ammo. Whatever you want to grab, there's all sorts of stuff. Now, once you do that, we're going to head inside. This is where the fun really is going to start. So we're going to head and open the door. And because you're Crimson Fleet coming here, there are no enemies. But there are bags of loot, essentially. So... We're going to get inside here, and we're going to go ahead, and you can check this guy if you want. You can check any of the bodies. You can open these safes, whatever you would like to do. But right here, we're going to open this door, and we're going to quick save. Now, when we open it, you'll see here that there is a rare Veterans Deep Mining Pack. The bad thing about this is that all the legendaries will be deep mining stuff, but if we load the save, before you open the mannequin, you have to quick save, but you can already have the door open. Go to mannequin, veterans again, go ahead back, load, try to get a legendary. And you can see there's no, none there, and you can just keep loading this until you get legendaries. First time I actually opened this case, it was pure luck. I had two legendaries here, but if you're wanting to farm some legendary gear, you can pick it up here. And let's say we do take a pack. We're going to take a pack just to prove that this will respawn. There's no pack on that. Remember that. Now we're going to head inside. Now once you're inside, you can do whatever you want. There's also different places you can loot. You can open things. It's up to you. The world is your oyster. I'm going to go show you the best stuff, though. There's going to be all sorts of little tidbits you can pick up here. There's beryllium, toxin. The dead bodies generally have three or 400 credits if you want to pick them up. Right here, you can grab some stuff here. I'm going to go ahead and run over this way. And this is a big loot chest. So, as you can see here, there is a Kraken. We'll go ahead and take that. It's only a rare. You can also take some stuff like Biosuppressant, Xenon, whatever, Sealant. And then you're going to turn around here. And we're going to go down into Electrical. And you're going to see here that there is a weapon case. You can get good weapons here. I, right now, want to tell you that sometimes you can see it's master. Sometimes weapons will clip through the walls. But you don't really have to worry about that. You can come right over here and pick up a weapon rack key. And just pop it open and get whatever's inside. Sometimes there's good stuff, sometimes there isn't. Grab some credits here. Med packs, you know, ammo case if you want to unlock it. This body here just has a therab crew. But basically, do whatever you want. There's all sorts of loot in here you can find of various types depending on what you want. Healing items, uh, digipix, all sorts of stuff. Up to you. Once you've fully looted this place, what we're going to do is we're going to press B and we're going to go back. And you can do this for other static locations. So if you know a really good static location, share so we can exploit it together. So we're going to go back and now I need to go find the planet that I'm going to forget its location. I always do. You can go to Venus. Um, I don't want to do it because a lot of people don't have the um, stats to go to Venus. I'm just going to go to Bessel. So Bessel, if you go to Bessel and you go to 3B, you can actually just go and make yourself a camp here. And when you make yourself a camp, you can um, reset like on Venus, but with double the amount of time. So it will be a 12 hour wait instead of six. Um, me, I'm going to be honest, uh, I've been playing around with a whole bunch of stuff, and I dumped a whole bunch of stuff. I don't have the, um, 
the uh ow I don't have the um materials on me to build a camp. So for my reset, I'm going to come here, which as you can see everything is respawned, so you can farm this too if you'd like. And there'll be some enemies with legendaries here if that's your uh thing. I'm going to go ahead and heal myself. Um, but yeah, there'll be enemies with legendaries here too, if you'd like, even though this is a lower level system. Again, if you know a high level system with a bunch of hours per day, like, like, like UT hours, kind of like Venus, let us know. So I kind of like this too, because I can just farm some more. So I can go and just shoot. I need ammo. Obviously a, a gun that shoots faster would be better. There, see, there's a... I think that's a guaranteed spawn there. This is also a static encounter, so you can do this on your world. Go ahead and just... Alright, so that's defeated. And there's one more somewhere I gotta find. Um, they're probably outside. Actually, let's switch a weapon real quick. But basically what you're going to be able to do is um, you're going to be able to rest here. So I can't do it because there's an enemy. I'm going to have to go outside and get him. Um, but as soon as you get through here, you wipe everything out. You can pick up all the ammo and whatever you want. I think they're outside. Um, yeah, they are. So here I'll go ahead and do that. That's what I should have done to begin with. So we're going to go back inside. And I'll show you just an idea of the uh, loot you can get. So we'll go down to this legendary enemy down here. And see, there I got a purple. So I can go pick that up if I'd like. And then right back in here is a chair you can sit on. There's other chairs. I don't think any of them let you sit except this one. And you rest here. This is what I'm doing. Again, you could just make a camp um, if you don't want to do this. 600 hours I know works. So we're going to do 11. And we're just going to wait. Now, when we get out of this, the enemies around us are not going to respawn, obviously, because we're local. But when we return, they'll all be back like you just saw. So basically, theoretically, and I need to do this, if I could find a, another location with spacers, well, not spacers, but with uh, Crimson Fleet, you could go make rounds to a bunch of medical stations. I might make, I might make a video on this. Or like abandoned stations that they've taken over, like the one that we're going to go back to. And um, you could just do all of them once you've reset them, like in a row. That'd probably be a really good video. I just have to find a bunch of them. Um, so here we, so let us know in the comments if you know a location that has a static spawn like this here. So we'll go back to this, no, that's not it. Where's it at? It's here. We'll go back to this um, deserted robotics lab. I believe this is the one. These are newer planets. I'm just now trying this route, so I do forget them. You can drop a save, though. A, like, hard save, if you want, or your quick save to remember. So, like, for me, I can go to here and go to save and see... Where was my quick save? My quick save was on board of 5B. Is that where I'm at? I think that's where I'm at. Why did I throw that? That was dumb. Doesn't matter. And, yeah, so I'm in the right place, as you can see. And we're going to head back down. I'm going to show you that all that stuff is respawned. It's just a neat little exploit you can do, especially if you're in the Crimson Fleet. Because normally you'd have to fight all these guys. But now it's just a loot pinata. Now if you could find a place with Crimson Fleet like this that also has a really, really long timer, that would be perfect. But um, let's see here. So we're going to go ahead and grab the stun grenade. As you can see, there's a frag grenade here. Credits. And there's some more ammo here. As I said, you just pick your path. Now, remember I took a pack off of this mannequin. That's important. So let's say you reset this mannequin multiple times to get whatever legendary effect you liked on it. Because uh, you're re-rolling every piece every time, right? So you re-rolled it. You're all excited. Uh, you go over here. Also, you can grab the med pack here. Open it open and you'll see it has a pack again so you can just re-roll legendaries and it'll keep refilling it and as i said there might even be other stuff in here that i don't know about that's worth grabbing but i can guarantee what's worth grabbing is going down here of course there's all the stuff in there if you'd want it opening this up grab this if you'd like 
go all the way to this case, all the way over here. And as you can see, there is a mirrored advanced Varun skip. I don't even know it. That's, okay, that's kind of interesting. And then we have some, you know, random stuff here. You can get yourself a syn uh, Synapse Alpha. Run back down here where there's that Master Lock. Now, as you can see here, this one we can just take, but you can open it. Actually, I can't open it. I have to go over here and grab the weapons rack key again. Open it, grab whatever's in there. These can be legendary too. And of course, you can grab Digipics and whatever else. You can check all the bodies if you'd like. This one down here still just has Canuck Bacon. But yeah, that's uh, just a nice little path that you can do. There's all sorts of loca uh, places in here. I have barely scratched the surface. Here's a whole bunch more bodies. Here's a random Inferno mine you can pick up. I think that's an ecstatic Inferno mine. Heart, nutrients. And you can just make trips around this place and find that here's healing paste. Ammo, ammo, ammo. Well, all this sorts of stuff. Um, I need to find more of these locations. So I can obviously make videos with a whole bunch of their digipics and credits. Especially if you're just starting back out, say, in New Game Plus, this is really nice. I think in here there's a pile of food that has effects. Yeah, so here's a meal multi-pack if you want it, chunks, and here's an ammo crate you can unlock, all sorts of... But I think these relock every time you come back. And, of course, I haven't shown this yet, but this is a static spawn, I believe. But there I get extra weapon damage with tool grip. Um, that's just sitting there for me to grab. So hopefully this helps you all out. That's a... I'm sorry, buddy. Sorry, that's how you went out. A lot of cool stuff to do here. A lot to grab. Um, definitely probably some better locations. There was a location. I can't remember it. I found where it was like a couple seconds to run in to reach that chest. The big chest you're wanting to look for um, is going to be this one right here. This is the one that's going to have the really, really good stuff in it. Hopefully this helps some people out. Maybe you'll find some better locations in the comments. Making a run of multiple locations like this where you can take advantage of the fact that the Crimson Fleet's not going to fight you. Um, just throwing it out there because the thing is, we have the glitches we have today. But we never know what Bethesda will fix. But I don't think they'll fix this.